got. Here she comes. She's not happy. So she's been moved into this nursery pen. I'll just give her a few minutes to settle in and then I will start introducing the chicks. So I have four three day old chicks. As luck has it, they are Wyandots, although they are either gold laced or blue. You little cuties. Let's see if she accepts them. <laughs> no, mother, don't do that, mother. Hey, hey. Get it like you did with the other one. Oh, I'm giving you another one. Need one more. Well, she's not pecking them, but she's certainly not taking them under her wings. And it's quite fresh. I don't know that I'd like to leave them in here overnight if she's not going to have them under her wings. Oh, there's a little peck. So in the end, Mother broke out of the nursery pen in disgust and came back to her sitting nest. I had removed the eggs. I asked for some advice on Facebook and somebody said to put the chicks under her wings from behind and leave them till morning, which obviously you would do anyway and hopefully she would accept them. Well, it's morning. She doesn't have that fierce look in her eyes that she did when she was sitting on eggs. And her posture has changed a little. These chicks are three days old, day four today, so they need to be eating straight away rather than having the luxury of 48 hours of no eating while they live on their reserves. So I'm going to put some food into the coop for them. I'm just bringing the water back, open up the door, and look who I see looking very happy, a chick. Mother doesn't look pleased to see me, which I'm happy with. Anyway, let's put the water in. Okay, so water's in. As usual, it's in a shallow dish with a bit of brick or rock in it partly to stop it tipping over but also to prevent the chicks from drowning in the water if they couldn't get out of the dish for some reason. The dish of chick crumble is in the old crate which is supposedly a nesting box but no one ever uses it. You look like one contented little chick where are your clutch mates? She has taken them over to the food and is feeding them. That's lovely. I'm very happy with that result. I'm glad the little ones aren't committing themselves to leaving the nursery pen until mother says so. Good little chicks. 
They're coming out, Mother. Whether you want them to or not. Oh, it fell off. Oh, don't you fall off, little second one. Oh, it didn't need the interim step. That's a bit clever. One month later, the chicks are doing very well. So I would call it a success, even after the false start.